dignitaries and Dayas, colleagues, and uh, other CG Center partner colleagues, and uh, private sector companies and funding agencies and former, former friends. It's indeed an honor and pleasure to be here and part of this event. And this is an opportunity to stand before you and sh to share what exactly this Krishi Jnana Sagar and the Krishi Vani is. Mr. Minister, we are proposing this innovative extension system as part of the Buchetana program because we have experienced and we have witnessed in Buchetana the yield gaps are because of non-availability of the right information at the right time because we have corrected the soil deficiencies once we understood what exactly the deficiencies in the problem then we corrected that one by applying the right inputs at the same time so so in many cases you need to take the time around So the innovative extension system, when we say it's an innovative, it's a combination of information and communication technology mediated approaches in, in the traditional extension systems to better provide the information and education services to the smallholder farmers. We have experience in that one and how we can deliver the best practices in the remote rural villages where even the power supply is not there with a digital green closet. Dr. Wani explained that one. Now what we are introducing two different kind of uh, models. One is the Krishi Jnana Sagar. Krishi Jnana Sagar is nothing but that's a knowledge base. And at the same time, the codified knowledge base that actually provides or facilitates to provide the right information to the farm facilitators. In turn, they can provide the information to the farmers. So with this knowledge base, we can foster the reach of this knowledge from research laboratories to the farmer fields. That's why we are doing this one. And uh, what is Krishivani is, so far we have many web-based applications, the information and communication technology applications. But most of these applications last the last mile connectivity. So what we will be doing now, so how best we can use the existing platforms like the mobile mediated platforms because we don't need to invest in the infrastructure and we are just using these existing platforms and sending the information services to the farmers. So these are the two things. Just look at what are the modules available in this particular one and what are the features in this one. So I request Mr. Minister to please come forward along with the other colleagues Jindal and Director General. Dr. Wani, can you accompany them and bring them here so then they can launch that one. one is the soil mapping module. Initially, we are going with this one and the recommendation module. There are two different users in this one. One is the farm facilitators who execute these activities at the farmer. And the other one is the administrators, like the government officials, who can actually look at the reports and all the recommendations from this particular one. They can also use the web app. If you can look at this one, once you log in into the system, they can look at the all the soil maps from the different districts. This is like a collar and the talu. Here we can see electric, 
The electrical conductivity is normal in this particular one. Someone can you show that? And if you see this one, organic carbon, it's pretty much like deficient in all the locations. If you see the other one, and here this is where the available phosphorus, like the deficient in those particular patches, and it requires no phosphorus inputs are required. So that's how the farmer facilitators can understand and uh, advise to the farmer. This is the initial stages. Then we move on to the other value chain in the other like day-to-day -day operations. We have a package of practices. You can show the package of practices. This is available in Canada. That minimizes yeah. That minimizes the cost of cultivation and enhances the profitability of the farmers. At the same time, correcting the soil deficiencies, we are enhancing the productivity also. And now we are seeing these production practices. The production practices are it's like a knowledge base. Even sometimes, if we can see in the medical field, the representatives are actually the ones who educate the doctors on the new product. So we are seeing these are the representatives at the field level, the farm facilitators. They use this knowledge base, provide day-to-day -day advisories to the farmers. And the next one is, if you can look at that one, and once they operate these things, individual farmer recommendations. For example, who are the farmers in that particular location, and who are taking this advice, and what kind of recommendations they have received from this one. So these farm facilitators, they enter these recommendations when they are executing this one. And this is what the farm facilitators use as this one. And when we would look at the BAM, the web BAM, it specifically, this is a web app. In addition to all these features, if you can look at, it's only for the government officials who would like to see the reports. For example, if you can see the report generation, in addition to all the features it has there, the recommendations inventory, I need to see what are the recommendations provided in this particular area, are suitable recommendations. For example, in Bellari, for the Jova, these are the urea, DAP, and MOP, these are the recommendations. Yeah, yeah, I can select a specific state, like for example, Kola, district, yeah, district, and the Taluk, and these are the Taluks available, and these are the COPs available, and these are the recommendations. And in a, what we are doing here, in most of the cases, the extension officers spend their time on report generation rather than focusing on the extension activities or helping the farmers. In this particular one, we are minimizing the time and allowing them to focus on these extension activities. I have a suggestion. Uh, where do you have the report generation? It is English is perfect. Too. But when the app is to the farmer, I would say, suggest the front page of the No, it's in Canada. It is in both the languages. Both the languages. Kashik ji, see, this is what, what we developed. With the limited resources what we have, now we are in the process of developing a proposal. We submit you and the minister. What is when you see resources? Thank you. With that, positive, with that positive note, now we would like to see these are the web applications. So far, we have several web applications. But how do we use the innovative? It's almost like a pool based approach. The farm facilitators are going to the farmer fields and bringing the information are challengers, and we are providing the advisors. If farm facilitators are not addressing, this will be forwarded to the RSKs. And the other approach is, that's like a push base, how we are pushing the recommendations and the solutions to the farmers. At one go, we can reach 300,000 farmers also by using their mobile numbers or the phones. Now we have another application. It's an integrated approach, Mr. Minister, that's called Krishivani. And how we can use, but this is not this Dr. Vani. It's a Krishi Vani, <laughs> what we can hear. That's a wise mediated. <laughs> That's a wise mediated agro advisory information services. Okay? And Mr. Minister, what we need to do, probably I need to speak some Kannada. I'm not a Kannadiga, but I, I learned something for speaking that one. And even also for the benefit of the former facilitators. After tapping this one, and I read the subject, and you give your message that will be received by all the participants here, as well as whoever the 800 farmers or whoever the registered farmers, then they also receive in Karnataka. The same thing, just tap it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
does essentially like what we are doing, it provides the instruction. That's like an IVR system. And they provide the instructions in Canada local language and the farm facilitators follow the instructions and send the information. All these information services are categorized into 16 categories that include agriculture, livestock, nutrition, and animal husbandry, as well as sometimes government schemes and everything. And every day they receive four messages and on Saturday two messages and Sunday is a holiday, so <laughs> they can sit and spend time with the family. So, okay, I need to say the subject now. Nan Gaur, can I sit down? Nan Gauravani, the Krishi Sachuara, and the Krishivani Vediki, and no, would get a cell Manavi Mari Kalutine. Take it here, the mic. Take it here. this one we confirm that one that will be reached to everybody so probably we might have seen several ICT platforms but what is different in this one mr. minister when you were explaining yesterday evening we need to look at the sustainable financially sustainable models okay that's where we are bringing in the private sector players into this one so earlier days we were paying the call charges and there is no revenue generation opportunities for the farm facilitators with this one, now we are, when we are bringing the private sector players, for example, now the eight house with the IFCO Kisan Sanchar Limited, they are actually wiping the call charges for all these calls. And also they are paying 10 rupees for each farmer for the green SIM. The green SIM is nothing but it provides all the telephone services. In addition to that one, they get this information advisory. This is a first phase minister and uh, I can tell you one example, in Anantapur, in one of our pilot experimental hub, in 15 working days, the farm facilitators generated 31,000 rupees income. Probably people might have received the message. I, we can hear. It's coming here also. Yeah, and this one, and, uh, the second phase what we are seeing, and it's like a business opportunity for the company. In an average, like every rural farmer or a rural community, they spend uh, uh, 200 rupees to 1500 on the top line. And they do get 2.1% commission when they sell this one. It's a business opportunity for the mobile companies where they are actually replacing these commission agents in the particular field by these rural farm facilitators. It's like a win-win situation for both company as well as the research organization for a better rural India. Business model. And as we move on, 
once we get the resources, now we are bringing a, an application which actually facilitates how we can bundle the inputs, provision of fertilizers, pesticides, seeds, and to get the transaction costs also. What essentially we are doing is we are bringing the reforms in the particular supply chain. Mr. Minister and other dignitaries, actually Director General challenge us to develop this kind of revenue generation model. Now we are ready and we are experimenting that one with our limited resources as opportunity from Buchetana. We are in the process of developing a proposal. Now ball is in your court to scale up these things. It will be immediately got back to your court.